After a beautiful first day of July, it looks like that heat and humidity will start to build its way back in. But before we get there, let me just tell you that tomorrow morning is going to be absolutely amazing. Get out and enjoy a cup of coffee outside in the back patio while you let the dogs out if you happen to have animals because it's going to be a rather refreshing start to our second day of July, which is unusual for this time of year, but it doesn't last very long either. Well, we were only in the 80s, so we'll be pretty average throughout the day on Tuesday with temperatures back in the upper 80s to low 90s. So, yes, still warm, but seasonable for this time of year. Average high for this time of the year is 88 degrees. So we'll climb back into the upper 80s to low 90s. But that heat will continue to build as we get into our Tuesday. Temperatures come up a little bit more. Wednesday, a little bit more. Thursday, a little bit more. Friday, a little bit more. Thanks to a ridge of high pressure in the upper parts of the atmosphere dominating the weather pattern. Now, at the surface, we've got a ridge of high pressure along the Atlantic coastline. That's allowing moisture to be fed in from the Gulf of Mexico out ahead of a cold front that will spill in some showers and thunderstorms possibly on Friday and Saturday, but it's what's also bringing us the extreme humidity, which leads to high heat index values. So dew points go from the mid-60s on Tuesday into the mid-70s on Thursday, Friday, and Saturday. So remember what it felt like on Saturday and Sunday, especially Sunday around the area? That's how Thursday, Friday, and Saturday are going to feel. Extreme heat and extreme humidity, which leads to heat index values by the latter part of the week, pushing back close to 100 degrees across much of the region. So there are some uh, quite, a, uh, quite a few uh, hot days ahead of us as well. Not a ton of moisture expected, but we will see increasing chances for rain Friday, Saturday, and maybe lingering into Sunday, but kind of broad brushing it with the Weather Prediction Center's forecast. Better chance for heavier rain showers across the plateau in the mountain counties. The valley just pop up showers and thunderstorms. But really, to be honest with you, I think the 4th of July is going to be mostly dry, but extremely hot and mostly sunny. Temperatures on the 4th of July at 94 degrees. We'll stay in the 90s as we get into the upcoming weekend. We're always looking forward to the weekend, aren't we? Low temperatures come up as well. So average lows are 68. That's why I said Tuesday morning is going to be amazing feeling with a low of 64 degrees. But then that heat and humidity helps to bring our low temperatures up through the middle and latter part of the weekend. Well, this may stick with us all the way through uh, upwards of the 15th of July. So a lot of heat and humidity is on the way, maybe giving us a little bit better chance for a few afternoon showers and thunderstorms as we get through, uh, oh, say July 9th, maybe through all the way through the 15th. So we'll keep you posted on that. And you can stay on top of the latest weather every day with your daily forecast updates, One Minute with Witcher, access to the only 24-hour weather channel here in East Tennessee, interactive radar, day parts, you name it, you can get it, and it's 100% free. Just go to the Google Play Store or the App Store and search East TN Weather, all one word, and download the East Tennessee Weather app today so you can stay in the know. Have a great night. And don't forget, Wake Up with the Witcher starts at 7 o'clock in the morning, Tuesday morning, and every day, Monday through Friday at 7 o'clock, for a live weather update, traffic update, we do coffee talk, and we just have a good conversation. Join for the fun. We'll see you then.